A mystery awaits discovery in the vast dark expanse of the Milky Way. An unbelievable mystique threatens to shake the foundations of our reality, an existence that has remained unseen by us, waiting to be discovered. Until now, parallel universes were just a myth, a concept reserved for science fiction, despite the fact that certain aspects of the universe appear to necessitate the existence of a multiverse. However, no direct evidence of its existence had been found in the past. So far, the evidence for a multiverse in the past has been purely theoretical and in some cases philosophical. However, now, the evidence is mounting as scientists seek to prove that parallel universes aren't only reserved for Star Trek, Spider-Man, or even Doctor Strange. But scientists are still baffled to see what they accidentally found, the two identical galaxies. Which leaves us with one strong question. Could this be proof of a parallel universe? In 2013, Timothy Hamilton, an astronomer from Ohio's Shawnee State University, couldn't believe what he had unintentionally discovered. He was initially working on research into quasars with the help of NASA's Hubble telescope. That is, until Hamilton came across the eerie discovery of the two identical galaxies. These galaxies were ultimately named Hamilton's object. If we look into our own Milky Way galaxy, we know that, along with stars, the Milky Way contains a variety of other celestial objects, such as nebulae, clouds of gas and dust where stars are born. We know about its globular clusters, dense group of stars, and the planetary systems, planets, asteroids, and comets. But how much do we really know about this new phenomenon? As you can see in the footage, the strange objects are made up of at least three split streaks that are nearly parallel and two galactic bulges. They are the center of galaxies and are loaded with stars. Also, Hamilton and colleagues found that the enormous gravity of a foreground cluster of galaxies in the background was warping space, magnifying, illuminating, and extending the view behind it. Hamilton's object is thought to be a complex system of multiple merging galaxies. In fact, at first it was initially thought they were interacting galaxies with tidally stretched out arms. However, there was still more to learn about this discovery. In one study, Hamilton's object was measured to be at a distance of about 11 billion light-years from Earth. Another study shows the distance to be 7 billion light-years. The object is found in the constellation Aquarius, but the explanation of such existence was still an essential part of the discovery. Years passed by, and Hamilton's team was constantly looking for more logical answers to this object, but no answers were found. After several years of in-depth research, in 2015, Dr. Richard Griffiths, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii, finally brought an end to this quest along with Hamilton's team. As soon as Dr. Griffiths analyzed the object, he mentioned the object to be a rare phenomenon of gravitational lensing. Back in the 1930s, Albert Einstein postulated that a mass distribution such as a galaxy may operate as a gravitational lens, distorting images of objects that lay beyond the attracting mass in addition to bending light. But what is gravitational lensing, really? In simple terms, when a large galaxy or other intervening object's gravitational field bends the light from a distant object, it is known as gravitational lensing. As a result, a distorted image of the distant item is created. This can be utilized to examine how matter is distributed within the intermediary object. The complicated mass distribution in the merging galaxies in the case of Hamilton's object 
may result in large gravitational lensing effects. It can also provide important details about the distribution of dark matter in the system. According to astronomer Dr. Jenny Wagner of the University of Heidelberg in Germany, it's great that we only need two mirror images in order to get the scale of how clumpy or not dark matter can be at these positions. But how much do we know about dark matter? In 1933, Caltech's Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky used the Mount Wilson Observatory to analyze a cluster of galaxies' visible mass. He had discovered that it was far too little to prevent the galaxies from eluding the cluster's gravitational attraction. This discovery provided the first concrete evidence for dark matter. Did you know telescopes are unable to detect dark matter since it does not emit, absorb, or reflect light? Yes, it is thought that a sizable fraction of the universe's total mass is made up of dark matter an enigmatic and mysterious element. Contrary to popular belief, dark matter does not really emit, absorb, or reflect light. Rather, it is dubbed dark because it does not do any of these things, making it undetectable to telescopes and other devices that detect electromagnetic radiation. However, its gravitational effects on visible matter including stars and gas, can be used to infer its existence. Dark matter is thought to account for the majority of the universe's total mass. Despite its significance, it is still unclear what dark matter actually is. Dark matter has not yet been directly detected. Its makeup is still unknown. Numerous ideas have been put up to explain its characteristics and behavior. Some scientists hypothesize that dark matter may be formed of more common kinds of matter. One of the first suggested candidates for dark matter was called MACHO, Massive Astrophysical Compact Halo Object. Did you know that things like brown and white dwarfs, neutron stars, and other celestial bodies are made of commonly found materials? So how are they able to be invisible? Well, because they emit either very little or no light, which is the cause. Others contend that it may be composed of exotic particles, like weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs. So, now after learning about gravitational lensing and dark matter, we understand why Dr. Griffiths was referring to the identical galaxies as a phenomenon of gravitational lensing. In fact, one of the best examples of gravitational lensing is the sunburst arc. The sunburst arc is a well-known illustration of gravitational lensing, a phenomenon that happens when light from a distant source is twisted. Yes, twisted by the gravitational field of a huge object, like a galaxy or a cluster of galaxies. Interestingly, nearly 11 billion light-years from Earth, the galaxy known as the Sunburst Arc has been magnified into numerous images by a large galaxy cluster, located 4.6 billion light-years in the opposite direction. The configuration of the lensing system affects the various effects of gravitational lensing. The Sunburst Arc, for example, appears bright and ring-like because the light from the far-off galaxies is bent into an arc-like shape. The light from the far-off galaxies is also magnified by this lensing effect, giving them a far brighter appearance than they otherwise would have. The sunburst arc is one of the most remarkable manifestations of gravitational lensing. It offers a singular window into the splendor and complexity of the cosmos, with its dazzling and glowing look. So, are you wondering how close we are to unraveling the mystery of the parallel universe? Well, the findings on Hamilton's object are just the tip of the iceberg. There is still so much more to learn. 
the scientific community is excited to continue its research and unlock the remaining secrets of this mysterious object. Lastly, the discovery of Hamilton's two parallel galaxies that are nearly identical sparked a new debate among scientists about the possibility of parallel universes. It is tough to say whether galaxies have planets like ours or not right now. Rather, the observation of these two galaxies through gravitational lensing and the role of dark matter is helping us shape our understanding of the universe with the given results of this discovery. It also highlights the power of exploration and the importance of keeping an open mind. The accidental discovery of Hamilton's object through the Hubble telescope serves as a reminder that life is full of surprises. We should always be on the lookout for the unexpected. With continued scientific advancement, we may one day find the answers we seek about parallel universes and the mysteries of the cosmos. All we can do until then is prepare to be perplexed and concerned about the future discoveries that await us. And as we are at the end of our exploration, what if I told you that NASA's Hubble telescope isn't the only telescope that has found mysterious objects in the cosmos, shaking the world with mind-boggling images? So, are you prepared to embark on an adventure into the unknown? To journey into the depths of space and witness the strange discovery made by the James Webb Telescope? This new discovery will leave you breathless and wonder what secrets the universe hides. A new world of possibilities will be revealed in our next video, so sit back and don't go anywhere.